final part of his conversation with the founder of the Khan Academy, the sleuth pushed Sal Khan to talk about the digital divide, the growing gap between those with access to technology and those without. Issue we have to figure out because there's two layers of the digital divide. There's the first layer, which most people associate with it, which is who has access to broadband and a computer. And there, you know, 70% of houses do in America, 30% don't. And those 30% are the people who need more resources the most. But that's kind of the superficial di digital divide. There's the next level of di digital divide is how are people using the technology that they have? And we are about democratizing, democratization of education. We're about leveling the playing field. But the reality today is if you go to Google or Stanford, and if you ask parents there, how many of you know about Khan Academy? 99% know about it, and they're using it, and they're using it with their kids, and whatever. If I go to Harlem or Oakland, and I go to a PTA meeting, and I say, how many of y'all know about kind of like, oh, what's that? That's, it's like, oh, it's this very little awareness. Mm -hmm. They're not using the tool. So, un unfortunately, today, and this is something, you know, I talk to every politician. I talk to, when they say, what can, how can we help your mission? It's like, awareness. Because the people who could benefit from this the most don't realize that it's available to them. So I, I, I wonder if it might be even more egregious than that if some social class of kids get to use the technology to produce mm. and with others, they're just consuming. Yeah. It's um, a drill here, a create here, if you will. Would you? Yeah, you know, I, that's a complex issue. I mean, this, this once again, this predates technology, mm -hmm. right? Like. You know, progressive education, which is much more around creating, uh, you know, versus kind of the more traditional education, which is more around, hey, why don't you do this drill, do this worksheet, and you know, and once again, I, I've I've talked to a lot of folks here, and it's always a conflict of when you go in the suburbs, a lot of the students in the suburbs, because you know. Uh, they have a, 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 a parent who's sitting and, and reading with them every night. They have a parent who's sitting and doing math. They're, they're almost getting a whole shadow education outside of the classroom from parents who, you know, the parents might have college degrees and master's degrees and PhDs. And, and, and so to some degree, that frees up time in the classroom so they don't have to spend as much time on the basic literacy, on the basic mathematics, on the core skills. And so that's why you do see in a lot of more affluent neighborhoods, they are able to go into more of the project-based learning, a lot more of the kind of exploratory and, and, and creation. Um, as, as, you go into, in, as you go into more underserved communities, there is a reality of the students on you know, some of the basic core skills are, are, are behind. They're, they're struggling with basic literacy. And once again, it has absolutely nothing to do with their raw material. You know, I, and I've seen it with, with kind of without kind of academy. You know, these students, if you meet them where they are and you allow them, that they're, they're able to do as good as anybody. But if you, if you have a student who is, is you know, say a second grader, a third grader, who is having trouble reading, a fourth grader who's having trouble reading, you need to work with them on their basic literacy. You need to work with them on their basic reading comprehension. So I think that the main issue here is, is that the affluent students, the students who, you know, uh, the family has more resources, they, they essentially have more, in the hours of the week, they're getting more learning time, which allows them to free up time for, you know, I, look. It's I, the Matthew effect that E.D. Hirsch talks about. The right. more you have, the more you get. Exactly. Um,